I'm Bill and this is Tandem Cross, making good guns great. Most shooters know to clean their firearms regularly, usually after each time out at the range. But not everybody goes to the same lengths to clean. For example, if you have a Ruger Mark series pistol, do you clean out the channel in the bolt beneath the firing pin every single time you clean? If not, grit and grime can build up in between the coils on your firing pin rebound spring, causing it to weaken over time. And rebound springs are a wearable part, so despite your best maintenance efforts, long-term repeated use can cause them to just break anyway. And these breaks can be hard to diagnose because the issues that they cause are also caused by a whole host of other common problems. Bad ammo, dull firing pins, any number of things are often blamed for the failure to fire issues that a firing pin rebound spring can cause. And damage to the rebound spring isn't always obvious. The damage usually happens near the ends of the spring and a bent or missing coil is harder to see than something dramatic like, say, the spring breaking in half completely. So if you suspect a break, you might want to just swap the spring out right away. But if you're in the middle of a competition day, you can't wait around for the manufacturer to send you a replacement. But even if you did have that time to spare, why bother when you can just buy a 5-pack of replacement firing pin rebound springs for Ruger Mark series pistols from Tandem Cross before you need them and be ready when the time comes. Our replacement springs match the factory spec so you can be sure that they will fit and function properly in your firearm. And they work in the entire Ruger Mark series line, Mark 1, 2, 3, 4, and 2245 models. They're also super easy to install with no special tools required. So let me show you how it's done. For this install, the only tool you will need is a punch or a similar long, thin tool. As always, make sure your firearm is clear and safe before doing any work on it. To begin, remove the upper from the frame. On a Mark IV, this is as simple as pressing a button. On older models, it's a little more complicated. Then, once that's off, you can pull out the bolt and set everything else aside. Now you use your punch to push this pin out through the side of the bolt. Set that aside. Then pull this spring rod off the top of the bolt. It might resist a little bit at first, but it does just come right out and there's nothing special that you have to do to get it out. Now you can see the firing pin, which you can lift out. And beneath that will be the rebound spring. Dump the rebound spring out and you will see that it has this little flat piece of metal inserted into one end. Pull that out and then insert it into one of your new rebound springs. Now when you return this part to the bolt, it should generally follow the contours of the interior of the bolt. The wide part points forward and rests on this flat little shelf cut out of the forward portion of the channel down the middle of the bolt. The spring will point backwards and angle down into the channel. It'll look like so when you're done. Sounds complicated, but it's not hard. Then put the firing pin back in with the narrow end towards the front and the fin pointing down. If you've been thinking about replacing your firing pin, now is a great time to do that. I recommend Tandem Cross's Firestarter replacement firing pin, which you can see me reinstalling here. To get the retaining pin back into the bolt, you'll have to push the firing pin forward slightly. This is easy if you have thin enough fingers that you can get one into the channel on the bolt. But if you can't, then you'll probably have to use your punch, for example, or something else thin to push the firing pin forward. 
So push the firing pin forward until the holes through it and the bolt line up and then reinsert that retaining pin. Then replace the spring rod. The half moon shaped plate at the front goes into this slot at the front of the bolt. And the forked end goes towards the rear. You'll have to compress the spring a little bit to get the forked end to fall into place. Each side of the fork should sit on one side of the bolt, like so. Then you can reinsert the bolt back into the upper. Put the upper and lower back together. And close the firearm up. And then as long as everything moves the way you expect it to, you are done. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions about this video, be sure to let us know in the comments. And don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the little bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you get notifications whenever we upload new content. You can also find us elsewhere on the internet like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And of course, you can find these rebound springs and many other products for Ruger firearms and other brands at www.tanacross.com. Until next time.